and lust hate. Do not let your righteousness be hijacked by hate. We have to love ourselves. The voices that were silenced today are never silenced forever and that their voices will be carried on through this conversation here and through their families and through the media and that this doesn't happen again. This is the time to come together and to be proud of who you are, to have pride and to walk with each other. You know, that's just, I guess, I don't know, maybe we can just make the world a better place. I was hurt and I haven't been hurt like this in a while so I reacted and I was really angry and so hate came out and my friends after like hours of talking to me told me that it doesn't help to be hateful back because that's what they want. They want us to be hateful and they want us to react. But I have a really strong belief that our love and our hope and in each other is our greatest rebellious act against hate and when hate is so strong right now what we have to do is to love and that's the best we can do and i had fear that i would lose my hope in humanity today but to see you all here reminds me that's not gone and that we are fighting this and no matter how hard it gets the sun rises every day and that's the light in our life and we have to hold on to that because loving each other and spreading love everywhere is the best we can do, and it's all we can do. I was afraid to come to this today. My friend Chelsea was afraid to come to this today. I was afraid to stand on the streets in WeHo today. Every time I heard a siren, I got scared. I heard a siren on my way to come get my friend, and I thought, oh God, it's not just in Orlando. So we need to remember, you know, that ideas are dangerous. We need to educate others if they have a question, if they have problems with those people, we need to ask them questions. We need to educate them by finding out where they stand. And then after we know where they stand, educate them on the realities that we are, are all part of the human race and we all deserve respect. And I'm here to remember fellow community members, fellow human beings. And, you know, I'm also here because I usually have to go to I was feeling alone. Yeah, we usually run into each other. I kinda lost my faith for a little bit. That there would be one individual who's willing to take the lives of fifty or more just because of who they are. I don't think it's right. <laughs> and you know, seeing that my my friends, you know, other people are here remembering this, this horrible thing. Makes me feel like we can fight the hate with love.